Hi there, this is Judy from PaperPalmTree.com and this is the project I have for you today. This is just a DIY project. Um, again, another uh, oyster shell project that I had. I saw um, this done on Pinterest. Uh, the pearls were smaller. Um, but I had some costume jewelry. This is just, um, you know, an old necklace that I had. And so I have cut this apart and um, glued the, the pearls to the bottom uh, for its feet. I also put dazzling diamonds around the top, which I think is beautiful. This is perfect for um, setting on your kitchen counter to put your rings in while you're washing dishes or um, uh, gardening or whatever. So I, I love these shells and I just wanted to share this one project with you. So let me get started here. Okay, so here is my um, shells that I have. They're washed and bleached. I soaked these in bleach for 24 hours and I scrubbed them really good. And so out of these shells, you can see, you know, that's kind of wonky. I don't really want that. Um, this one I liked because it was very petite. But um, this one would be pretty. Um, I, and, and I kind of look for the flatness of uh, the base so that it will sit nice. I like the shape of that one too. So uh, I might go with that one. So um, I took the shell and um, look how much smaller that one is. That's just the uniqueness of every shell. And so I wanted to um, create a place for the feet um, to sit on. This one was so flat. Um, but I want to see where it sits. So right here is where I am going to glue. And so I have snapped out um, one of them and I'm going to do four feet. And you see this was double tied in there so you just pull that apart. Um, there we go. I'll put those in there for right now. Okay, so I took um, this E6000 jewelry bead glue, and this holds it very nicely. Now, the biggest thing for, um, I think, for letting this glue dry is to make sure that your beads don't fall off and get wonky on it. And so what I did with this was... Um, took some washi tape and as the bead gets down on there I am going to um, create a little mm, cradle I guess is what I want to call it so this is just washi tape and I did that because I didn't want it to be so sticky that it was hard to get off of the shell and washi tape is a low tack uh, type of tape that is meant to come off easy. So let's see if I can create its own little um, yeah, its own little cradle in there. So that looks about right. And so where I'm going to go is, uh, and you have to find it on every individual shell. Um, where these are going to sit. And so I kind of just did this for placement. And right there. I think I need to move that side up just a little bit. Right about there. That looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to open up my glue. Do this in a well-ventilated place because, you know, with any adhesives, especially strong adhesives, um, it needs to be ventilated. And I'm pretty good here. So this had, these beads had, um, um, you know, a hole going all the way through them. So I'm going to use that as the foot. Put a little glob of glue on there. And that's going to go right in that one corner. And I like to get enough on there that it um, kind of puddles a little bit. Ooh. And here's my next one. 
It's got a lot of glue. I don't want all of that. Ah! It's a mess. I didn't want that to happen, but this is real big, people. <laughs> all right. It's right there. And see why the cradle matters? Because the irregularity of the surface, these beads just tend to want to come off. So I'm going to go right there. And let that hold on there. So that's not holding so good there. But uh, once I get the glue on there, I hope that will be better. All right, so I'm going to let that glue dry uh, 24 hours, and then I will come back and show you um, how I do the top of it. Okay, this is dried for 24 hours, and I am going to take off our cradle. See, that washi tape doesn't stick so hard on it. I think it's still good. I'll use it for something else. There we go. All right, so the pearls are on there nice and good. That glue really holds nicely. So there it sits. I like that little lip on there. That's that's pretty. So what I did on um, this one is I ran a bead of uh, glue around the edge, and I sprinkled Dazzling Diamonds on it. And um, it's just a real fine glitter. And that is so beautiful on the inside, I think. And then just that little bit of hint of glitter I like. So I'm going to show you how I did that on here. So I took this um, Eileen's Tacky Glue. And let's see. Yep. And I'm going to run the glue along the, be the bead of glue along the edge. And I'm not sure where I'm going to go up here. I do like it up there. Let's see if I can get that down in there. It's probably good. Come down along here. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I keep my um, glitter in one of these little tubs, and I take a spoon, what I think I want to do is, um, it's a little globby up there, I don't want quite as much up there, so maybe just a little bit off. there I think there we go there now that looks better okay so I just take my um, fine glitter and obviously this is optional but I think this really adds a little touch of um, I don't know, wetness look to it or something that makes it so pretty. Not wetness, it just, I don't know. And there we go. So that's our shell. And this one's pretty. Every shell looks different um, because of its shape. And I think you could do smaller beads on that. That would also be beautiful. I don't know. I've got a few more shells to do, so... Um, I'll be trying out some other projects with them and see how uh, it ends up. And I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, if you'd hit the like button below. And uh, you can always go to my blog on paperpalmtree.com and see my other DIY projects. And um, also on my YouTube channel. So if you'd like to see more videos from me, just hit the uh, subscribe button. And until next time, bye.